Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. And y'all know I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. So be sure to come through and check us out. Join the channel as a member to get access to our exclusive prediction videos that we drop every single week. We got some of the most accurate and best predictions on YouTube. Um, and drop super chats and super thanks when you come by our live streams and you check out the content on the videos, man. Them super chats and them super thanks, they keep the channel going. So please be sure to do that if you can and if you find it in your heart too, if you like the content. And uh, last but not least, man, if you want to debate on something, knockoutbox86 at yahoo.com is an email. Let's get it cracking though. Look, man, um, I got a few videos to make. What's this one going to be? Let's, let's, let, let's do this one. So it's some pictures surfacing. Of Edwin De La Santos looking like a hot air balloon, bro. And I know the homie Ghost is probably going to check this video out in the comment down below. Shout out to my homie Ghost. He always riding for his people. So I got mad love to my homie Ghost. Ghost, what's up with these pictures, bro? Edwin De La Santos looking plump. Looking plump out here, bro. He got to fight. He got to fight in a couple of months, man. That's a lot of weight to cut. And he young right now, so I don't expect it to be too huge of an issue. But what I will say is this. I'm, I'm going to attack it from two sides, bro. Edwin De La Santo, bro. You running around there, bitch. You pulling up on Shakur in Newark, New Jersey. You trolling him. You doing this. You doing that. Bro, you need to be living the lifestyle, too. Now, I don't know if these pictures old. Oh, they're surfacing around here. I don't know if they new. I don't know what, what's going on, but, bro. You calling for a fight with one of the top dogs, you need to be in shape. Like, if 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 if, if you want to be taken serious as somebody that's going to be a threat to him, if you want to be taken serious as somebody that can upset the apple cart, because right now he already up 10-8. He already up 10-8, bro. S lifestyle, dedication, being in, in, in between, being in shape in between fights, Staying ready so you ain't got to get ready. That's a 10-8 round for Shakur Stevenson already, Edwin De La Santos. It's a 10-8 round for him already, bro. Like, the pictures I seen of Edwin De La Santos, bro, he had a beer belly almost. I ain't never seen Shakur look like that. So, you already the underdog. And then he in shape and he ready to go. He could probably fight next week and you definitely need some time to get ready. You got to get that shit together. So, I didn't like that. I don't like that at all, bro. The flip side of it. The flip side of it. What I'm asking, because I haven't seen this yet. You know how people like, man, I see people doing this. I see people. I'm, I haven't seen this yet. This is a, uh, what they call them? This is a preemptive strike. This one of them ones where, like, you know you're getting into it. And you know what it's about to turn into. So, bah, you fire off first. <laughs> you fire off first. Because you ain't finna get the upper hand. I'm firing off first on your ass. So this is preemptive. I have not heard a lot of people doing it. I anticipate some will. But let me just say, no matter how much we don't like Shakur Stevenson's personality, bro. Snake move he pulled on Devin Haney. They had a secret agreement where they was pulling the snake move on the fans about not fighting till they got to 154 pounds or some shit. 147 pounds, too high. We go 130, go to 140. We gonna meet up in the future for everything, but you got everything right now. All that bullshit. Y'all know what I'm talking about, bro. But then Shakur snake him by trying to aim and fuck it. I'll fight your ass right now, which is good for the fans. But you can see how, like, hold on, bro. We probably be hungry. We done said this, what we gonna do, and then you come behind, you know what I'm saying? All that. Then you kind of. Then you kind of broke the A, hey, man. You know, I feel like Loma won. Loma was robbed. You know, you did some shit. Then you, you know, you got your homie with the phone on the low and shit. You know what I'm saying? Recording device and shit. He acting like he texting and shit. Your homeboy, Bill Haney talking. Your homeboy acting like he texting on his phone and shit. But he really recording and shit. Bill Haney talking. He acting like he texting. Shit like that. And y'all supposed to be cool. So no matter how much we don't like that, bro. We can blame them for that. We can pile on for that. Y'all know I done cooked them on that. And every time it come up, I'm going to cook them on this some more. Like I just did, bro. You're home. That shit, man. What you doing? Bill, Bill asking, what you doing? 
What you doing, honey? What you doing, young homie? Oh, man, I'm texting my, my girl. Tell her what I want to eat. He really recording this shit. And then send that shit to Shakur. Shakur like, yeah, bro, got his ass. He ain't like, nah, bro, don't send me that shit, don't. I don't need that shit. What you recording this shit for? What I ain't check him or nothing. He was like, good job. Like, nah, bro. That's not a good job, fam. So we cook him on that, bro. No, no, no problem with that. But y'all, let's not blame, let's not blame Shakur Stevenson for Edwin Davis Santos potentially starting camp out of shape. Let's not use this as a way to try to discredit Edwin Davis Santos as an opponent, bro. He, he he ran rough shot through Jose Valenzuela. He's coming off a great performance in his last fight. He's a top he's a top contender, top ten in the WBC. A lot of people ain't saying his name and don't want to fight him. And he looks every bit as explosive as these other guys, bro. And every bit as dangerous as these other guys. And you know Samson has a track record for seeing and eyeing talent. And spotting real good talent, bro. Samson is the same guy that got your David Benavidez, got your uh, David Morrell Jr. and a bevy of other fighters, bro. So we not going to run around here and act like Edwin De La Santos is trash just because we want to shit on Shakur Stevenson, bro. So I like let's not, let's not do that, bro. It is not the responsibility of Shakur Stevenson to worry about whether or not Edwin De La Santos is in shape. And we shouldn't discredit Shakur Stevenson because an opponent that's supposed to be dangerous, an opponent that's supposed to be one of them ones, decided that he was going to drink cervezas and shit. And I hope that these old pictures, I need Ghost to let me know, bro, Ghost. What's happening with your boy? Why he, why he looking like he ain't in shape? But I wanted to put this out there because... If you Edwin De La Santos, you already dropping the ball. And I don't even know if you started camp or not yet. And if you a Shakur Stevenson hater, you know. Let's not let's not try to use this as a way to to discredit him all because his opponent decided that he was gonna continue to call him out, continue to call him out, continue to call him out. Want the fight, want the fight, want the fight, but forgot the main part about fighting. You gotta train and shit. How you gonna want the fight? How you got how you got time to pull up to Newark, New Jersey? How you got time to go to New Jersey, bro? But you ain't had time to train. I got so many questions, Edwin. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. Comment below, smash the like, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to share the video. And uh, yeah, y'all watched the video this far, man. Hit the like button on your way out of here. And don't forget we live tonight, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.